June 12th marks Philippines Independence Day. And to celebrate, we learn how to make a signature Filipino dish that my grandma makes, but with a vegan twist. We want to go ahead and just trim the top where all the leaves are. Now you guys can brace this as well, but for presentation's sake, we're going to use this one. Uh, the reason why I do that is because I want to treat it kind of like a protein. Okay. Uh, and so I want to actually use the roots to hold the celery together. We're replacing the chicken in nice chicken adobo celery with celery. Next is the onions, and most importantly, the garlic. Is garlic and onion like the base of most Filipino dishes? Oh yeah, they're like the most perfect married couple in the world. Um, they just make the best balance ever with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of earthiness and a little bit of savoriness in there as well. Chicken adobo is to the Philippines what poutine is to Canada. But the irony of this dish, it's Spanish influence. Philippines Independence Day commemorates the country's declaration of independence uh, from Spain uh, so in 1898, uh, after 300 years of colonial uh, rule. We are part of millions in the diaspora, now a million across Canada, proud of our heritage, have a lot to contribute in marking and celebrating here in British Columbia, 125 years of independence. Chef Rafael Rosella moved to Canada when he was 10 years old. He stays in touch with his Filipino roots through cooking. I asked him who influenced him to be a chef. It would have to be my grandmother. My grandmother had a night market stand where she um, serves uh, barbecue. My grandma makes chicken adobo too, but I don't eat chicken. So we're searing the celery on medium to high heat with oil for five minutes. So then down, set it to the side. The chef adds and garlic, down, oil, down, bay leaves, like chili, nice soy sauce, sauce, sauce vinegar, uh, and sauteing the onions until they're soft, then adding the celery back and covering it with tin foil. I would let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes depending okay. on the texture of the celery. So we have vegan chicharron, we have vegan chicken adobo, and the vegan rice. Of course, you can't skip the <laughs> rice. Chef Rosella says marking Philippines Independence Day is important to his family. For the Philippines to identify as its own country rather than um, what others have left um, in it uh, means a lot. And I know how proud Filipinos are of their culture, and it's time for us to show our culture. And I'll be celebrating this Independence Day with this delicious vegan dish. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.